Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. It is Tuesday, the 2nd of uh, July 2024, a day that we are going back to the streets <clears throat> to sanitize this country and take it back to where our forefathers, the likes of Jomo Kenyatta, left it. But before I do that, <clears throat> I want to dedicate this particular video to all Kenyan police officers who have been sent to counter protesters on the streets. The police reside in this country. We Kenyans reside in this country. Police are Kenyans. Protesters also are Kenyans. So in short, we all of us Kenyans. If Kenya will sink, all of us will sink. If Kenya is sold, we all of us get sold. If the government gets dissolved, you police officers also serve us. So you are not exceptional. You are not unique in any way to guarantee you to feel so special than the Kenyans you've been trusted to guard during demonstrations. But I've decided today to give you a message. I know you are already on the streets and maybe you are planning to go on the streets at a later date or at a later hour away from this morning. I am watched across the world by even the same police officers who are being misused by those in authority, little do they know that the demos in the country also fight for their rights. I want to give you a one minute video and some seconds, you watch it keenly. I found this video uh, from a friend who sent it to me this morning. As much as it's a past video from the past demonstrations, I think it was last week in Rongai, but it teaches us so many things. It teaches the police so many things. So I want you to watch it and then you take your personal time. Be very careful on the contents in that video. See the movements of the people in that video, and then I will come back to address what you saw. Hey! 
Ladies and gentlemen, that video confirms one truth. The power of the people supersedes the power of the police. You saw police officers running into a shop and trying to escape via the back door of that shop. This means what? When you clearly look at those police officers, they were about 10 or less or more because I've not counted. One, those police officers are armed and they're in uniform. The protesters were trying to teach them a lesson and telling them as much as your police officers as much as you are in uniform, as much as you are protected, we want to tell you that we, the people, owns all the powers to do whatever we want to you people. So, it's like there was a confrontation and the power of the people overpowered the power of those police officers. That is why they are trying to run for their safety. Little did they know that these young people, the Gen Z's, have decided to teach them a lesson. So as they run through the front door, the Gen Z's are from the back. As the police try to exit, they get arrested. Wanashikwa. You see how the Gen Z's are holding them from behind? Now, instead of beating them, Wanawambia, please, we don't want to beat you. We do not want to harm you. What you do, just run for your safety. At the end of that video, you see police officers running for their lives. As much as they're armed, they're running for their life. This is the lesson I'm bringing here. All the videos I've watched from Mandamano, I see the Gen Z's trying to safeguard the police. I analyzed a video of a police officer who was running to Holy Family Basilica for his safety. As much as he had a gun, the protesters tried to safeguard him, but it's like the mob was angry, yes, but some Gen Z safeguarded him and severely evacuated that police officer because while well, if this is our father, when you look at the age of that police officer, they literally assume this is our father and there's no need to harm him. So they, they, they severely evacuated him to a church. The same is happening in this particular video. The Gen Z's are treating this police officer with a lot of respect. No one is beating them. No one is harassing them. But they are politely telling them, if you want peace, please run for your life. If these Gen Z's behaved like how police officers behave, then we could have lost the number of police officers in that video. Wauliwe, wanyanganyo, those protective gears. And right now we could be speaking of bodies of police officers. But because Gen Z's are responsible, they say there's no need to kill. There's no need to stone. There's no need to harass. Let them just leave. Watuachie tufanya kazi yetu. And they left. Why can't police officers borrow this friendly engagement? Police officers in this country behave like they have an alternative should the country run into anarchy. They think they have an alternative. I don't know why police officers are killing innocent protesters. I don't know why police officers are running down young people fighting for freedom. I don't know. What if 
the police officers borrow the character that has been exhibited in this video by the young people. Police are there one to guard and protect a demonstrator who is not armed in any way. And I'm, I, I'm, if, even if I'm not a police officer, I was speaking with a prominent ex-DCI officer, very prominent, from the Republic of Kenya, but left to the U.S. Uh, years ago. He was telling me, whatever the police are doing in Kenya is criminal and they are supposed to all of them be prosecuted. In demonstrations, an automatic firearm is not supposed to be used. Why? Because the police might panic and fire several bullets and kill innocent protesters away from the one target that we are targeting. Of course, demos can have impurities. Impurities means those who did the chemistry you understand what impurities means. As much as the demonstration is peaceful, there are those gangsters who want to use the opportunity. So, the, 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 their work ethics of police says, you can only fire if, one, your life as a police officer in danger at that particular time, if, the protester is highly armed and wants to harm the police or other protesters. That is when you are allowed to fire. And there is an analog gun that fires once just for the target. But whatever we've seen on the streets are firearms that fire eight bullets at once. According to that officer who was sharing with me, that is illegal and is against the police ethics. Even themselves, they know that when countering protests, releasing a life bullet is only when the life of the police officer has been threatened. Ladies and gentlemen, Today, all the Gen Z's across Kenya and across the world, we wish you the best as you reclaim this country. Thank you for bringing sanity in churches. Thank you for bringing sanity in politics. And we hope this shall continue until we achieve 100% reforms in the Republic of Kenya. God bless you. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.